Okay, <clears throat> excuse my voice at the moment, people. Went to the football yesterday and a uh, uh, very important game for my team, the North Melbourne Kangaroos. And uh, I felt the need to express myself rather loudly, so I'm not sick. I've just uh, stretched out the old vocal cords a little bit too much uh, and felt the need to tell the umpires one or two home truths. Now, uh, so if you can bear with me, I'll just bring you an update on this uh, contraption. So we've still got our permanent magnet here and a permanent magnet up the other end here. We've got a drive rodent coil here. This is a pickup rodent coil and this is a pickup rodent coil. These two coils are on separate Shockty diode bridge rectifiers. And then we're putting that charge into a cap over here. This is just a test cap. It's not the one I'm going to be using for the final uh, uh, motor. And I got this idea from, if anybody's seen it, go and have, uh, and if you haven't seen it, go and have a look. It's just Google Stargate motor. And I've forgotten the guy's YouTube channel. It's something like PMM. Uh, hybrid or PM PMM4 hybrid or something like that. Anyway, go and have a look at his motor. It's really interesting. What he's done is he's got a series of super caps like these. These are uh, two and a half volt, 22 farad super caps, and then he's got this uh, on the end here. In series, he's got 120,000 uh, UF 16 volt cap. And he has the charge from his motor, which is completely different to anything I'm doing here, from his generator filling uh, this cap here. And let's just say, for argument's sake, it's a 120,000 UF 16 volt. And sort of feeding back into his super cap array. And then he's driving the motor from, say, on about 7 volts, so around here. He's got his, and this is my power lead to the motor and this is the uh, power lead to the battery just to charge the caps up and then this is the lead from the um, in his motor the lead from his generator so in my case this lead is connected to the two bridge rectifiers picking up the charge from this coil and this coil down here so it mine doesn't run anywhere near as well as his does but on his he shows that the the charge actually rises as he runs it and the speed of of the rotor uh, increases so I've ordered one of those uh, 120,000 UF caps today and the idea is is that it it discharges the voltage really really quickly back into these other caps and it keeps the voltage rising so uh, across the other super caps so uh, there, this doesn't suffer from any um, back EMF or counter EMF or whatever you, call, whatever you want to call it I could get more charge into the cap if I used a reed switch say across these charge coils to short them out and then collect the collapsing uh, EMF. But uh, I don't want to do that just yet because, of course, that will affect uh, the speed of the rotor. So, so I've just hooked that up to the battery for the moment to charge the caps. And we'll just give that a spin up.
guy. Now I'll just get the battery and just run on the caps. And you can hear it run down. It'll run for about, uh, about five minutes or so on these caps. So the plan is, is that, so it's still charging, but that uh, other little cap I've got on the end there, it's only a 4700 UF or something like that. I'm happy with the uh, the other cap. Uh, we'll see a better result. Anyway, just a quick update for you. See you soon.